What's happening everyone, it's DV and I'm in Bee Swarm Simulator. Big surprise, I know I just posted the other day that I was gonna make a video in Bee Swarm and I did. This is actually, instead of for Bees Miss, this is actually for the Ready Player 2 event. So there's actually a secret here that they added the other day and you can see over here, it's got like this kind of, it's a strange looking square thing. It looks like a tablet. And so how you do this is you actually need a special set of goggles in order to be able to see what's inside here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get all the cogs and complete this secret so you can get the special badges as well as the special book. Before I begin, if you could hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you are new, that'd be awesome. So a lot of you probably don't realize that I actually love this game. This is actually one of my favorite games on Roblox besides Islands. I played a lot of Bee Swarm. Now, you know, I did start a little late, so I kind of started playing Bee Swarm a ton um, last Beesmas. So last, uh, last Christmas, actually. So, and so the only thing I'm really, really missing are my gummy boots. And so I'm not that cool yet, but eventually I'll get them. I've been grinding them. And actually a lot of people from my discord play Bee Swarm. So we actually have a pretty solid Bee Swarm community here. So I'm going to go over here. We need to go and check out these goggles. So let's go to the shop. Let's go to the shop and let's go check out these goggles real quick. So you can see they just recently added these goggles. It pretty much matches that tablet looking thing. So you can see it has like, they look pretty cool. So let's go ahead and open the shop and I'm gonna show you what they cost. So going through here to goggles. So the goggles require micro converters, which I've got plenty of those. So seven, seven pronged cogs. And it's a futuristic looking headset. Doesn't seem to do very much. It does have a plus seven, seven capacity. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. It's such a bad item, but it is only for this event. And of course you do need a little bit of honey. So if you're new to this game, thankfully it's not that hard to get. 77 honey you can get pretty quickly, but we need to get these cogs. And so oddly enough, the cogs actually can be acquired by entering a bunch of codes. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with giving you all the different codes for the game. So let's go ahead and jump in here and get these codes in so starting over here so just click on this little thing that says system right here is where the codes are so so it's promo codes so i'm going to give you this series of codes right now and this is going to get you all the cogs to be able to buy that thing so first we're going to start out with troggles so t-r-o-g-g-l-e-s kind of like goggles but troggles i don't know don't ask me why but it, it's what it is so we're going to go and redeem that so i just got so I just got um, one seven pronged cog. So this is actually gonna activate a bunch of field um, buffs as well. So, so you're gonna wanna use these buffs as fast as you can. Next one we're gonna use is called Luther. So next is Luther, almost like Lex Luther from Superman. So go and redeem that. And that's gonna give us a blue flower filled code buff. Next we're gonna do the code jumpstart. So jump start. That's gonna give us another one. So you can see on the bottom right, and it gave a dandelion filled buff. That's cool, 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 cool. Next is gonna be Carmen San Diego, and that's based on the old classic video game. A lot of people don't know what Carmen San Diego is, but it's an old game. And Ready Player Two and Ready Player One are all about the classics. And then so that buffed Rose Field and gave us a cog as well. And then we're gonna do Millie, M-I-L-L-I-E. That's Millie, and that's gonna give us a sunflower field code buff duration 30 minutes. Wow, we got a lot of buffs. And then this one's gonna be a little harder for you to uh, spell, but it's dysentery, dysentery, D Y S E N T E R Y. So we'll go and redeem that. Ooh, that's the mushroom filled buff. So these are all the fields you're gonna wanna pay attention to. And there's nothing gonna be like in the really, really hard areas. This is gonna be accessible to everyone. Next is gonna be Word Factory. So Word Factory is the last one you need to punch in. So now we have seven cogs. So let's go over here. So you can check out your inventory by clicking on this egg right here and scroll down to seven pronged cogs. So you can see they are right there. So let's go back into the store and go buy this thing. Now, again, if you don't have enough honey, I mean, it literally it's it's like you can get you can get about 77 honey probably within five, 10 minutes. So just go get those. Now let's open the shop and I'm gonna go back to the goggles. Where are you goggles? Where are you? There they are. Why is my character, my character's, my character's kind of blocking it. Hold on, it's blocking them. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft this. And now I've got the goggles. So now we just need to put the goggles on. So let's go ahead and equip it. I think I already equipped it. Yeah, that's already equipped, so cool. So I'm wearing them right now. <laughs> Don't worry that I'm a bear. My bees, my bear bee kind of turned me into a bear. Over here, things are already looking very different over here. Look at that. Look at that computer tablet right there. By the way, say hi to Gun. This is one of my mods on the Discord. His Gun right there. He's, he's plays He plays the game a lot. All right, let's come over here. And then I actually already picked it up, but there's a micro converter. They basically give you what you need, except for the cogs. And then obviously the codes make this really easy for you to do. So you can see up top, it says um, E, look inside the computer. 
Just go ahead and hit, you can click on that. If you're on a uh, mobile, you can tap on it or you can hit E. It's crazy looking, I can't wait. So it's got like a bracket, ampersand, asterisk, question mark. Okay. So it's like a sequence, it's basically a code. And these are different stages that you need to do. So this is a stage, so there's three stages you need to go through, it, it gets harder and harder. So let's go over here and there's some fields you actually have to tap. So like if you come over here, you might, I think it's, I think it starts, it starts with the dandelion field. I just wasn't sure if you can do it earlier. But you can come over here and see how like the field is kind of glitching out. It's kind of like the Ready Player 2 event, uh, or remember the game? So see how it's like kind of giving me a clue. So there's a question mark, another question mark, another question mark, and another question mark. So let's go back real quick and see what symbols we needed. Just write them down on a piece of paper. That's what I should do. So left bracket, ampersand, asterisk, and question mark. Okay, left bracket, ampersand. Okay, so left bracket. There's left bracket, ampersand. Uh, man, I, I should have wrote. This is why I should have written it down. All right, asterisk is a little spider looking thing. There it is. You got the little happy faces. So now we go to stage two. We go to stage two. Let's go back to them and now we're gonna see something different. Gotta run back, run back, run back. And this should turn into a happy face. So we did that. So now he's gonna go crazy. I don't know, now he just left the box. Okay, okay, he left the box. Let's get out of here and go find him. So he's gonna be on one of the fields. We just gotta work in the field. Okay, here, so look at the screen here. So you see how it has an ampersand. So look at the code. It's asterisk, ampersand, come back, don't leave me. He's at Cloverfield. Okay, so go up to Cloverfield. So he's got question mark. So he's he kind of like shows you what you need to do, but we just need to find the, uh, where's the marker at? There it is, okay. All right, so there's one there. Where's he at now? There he is, he's back at Sunflower, okay. Okay, what do I need to do, buddy? You're glitching out, man. What do you want, dude? Asterisk, ampersand, ampersand, squiggly. Okay, so asterisk, ampersand, squiggly, thingies. Let's go to the first field he went to and set this to asterisk. And then he goes ampersand, right? Asterisk, ampersand, and squiggly. And let's go over to this one, and this one should be squiggly. He's basically giving us a sequence. Okay, so it depends on what he considers to be the first one. Because if he goes back up there, Okay, let's try this one with ampersand then. Ampersand, we'll switch it. We'll go squiggly up there. Because he goes to this one next. Doesn't like that. But we know we know which we know what we need to do here. We're missing a squiggly. Let's make this one squiggly. Okay, we tried this one squiggly. That one's ampersand. And up top is asterisk. So you kinda have to like it is a pa it is basically a password, everyone. So you're basically gonna have to do so this is this should be an asterisk. Oh, I did it. I did it. I did it. So you're basically just guessing. And the way you're going to do it is there's three possible three possible characters and you just kind of have to get the right order. It's not really telling you the order. I think it's just giving you clues and it's not telling you the order because the order didn't make any sense here. Did not make any sense. So we're going to go back over here to Z computer B. Go look inside. So this is going to actually glitch and then be happy. Now we're going to see what we need to do next. So now it is CMDS, CMDS, commands. CMDS. So let's go over here. And the only field we haven't done yet is the blue flower field. So let's go over to the blue flower field. Oh yeah, I can see it's all glitching out. It's like, yeah, come over here. There's question marks, question mark, question mark. So from what I've heard is that this actually stands for the different fields. So C would be, C would be Cloverfield. So let's go see what symbol Cloverfield has real quick. Let's go reveal what does Cloverfield have. All right, Cloverfield has a bracket, so we're good on that. And then M would be mushroom field, so let's go find that one. So it's gonna be ampersand. Let's go make this an ampersand. And then D is gonna be dandelion field. Should be. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it's like, well, what? It's an asterisk. And then, oh, we got it. And the S was the last one that was already preset. So yay. Okay, so we got that. So let's go back over here. Oh, some tickets. Don't lose our reward here. A bunch of tickets. I'll take all those tickets. Thank you. Thank you for the free tickets on it. All right, let's go over here and see what we need to do now. I think this is it. So this should be it. Let's see if it is. All right. Now he's happy. Look how happy he is. He's such a happy bee. I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss him. I want this bee, by the way. Let us, let us buy this bee, please. It's cool. All right. So we're going to get our star jelly. Cool, cool. Thank you for the star jelly. Own it. And we got the badge as well as this book. So we got this book, the how to program. This is the book we get. So it's another book hat. So I've got another book around here somewhere. There's the there's the hat. Looks, looks amazing on my head. Looks so amazing. <laughs> 
And then on my profile, we'll be able to see my badge. So let's scroll down to the new badge. What kind of badge does it give me? Right here, you played Bee Swarm. So I don't know why. I don't know why we get this in particular. It's just kind of a weird, that's a weird badge to me. But anyway, this is cool. So we can come back out of here. We can, we got our goggles. Goggles look so cool. All right, so the other thing I want to talk about is a little bit about what's coming up in the game. So from what I understand, they've got the Beesmas Christmas event coming up again. So that was a ton of fun. Last time they had the Christmas tree right here. They had a counter and they had a ton of quests. The quests were so much fun. So I'm really excited about them bringing that back because I really want to do it. I really want another Beesmas. That was one of the most fun events. So as soon as that comes out, I will be making a video on that. So don't you worry. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you are new. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.